In this lesson, you'll learn about the importance of being healthy at work and how you risk passing diseases onto your customers if you've been unwell or become sick at work. The aim here is to stop you contaminating food if you're ill or carrying an infectious disease. Food can become contaminated if you're sick or if you're carrying germs that could be passed on to others. If you're sick with a tummy bug, your poo or vomit poses a real risk of passing germs onto others. Also, diseases can be spread from your blood or discharges from sores, coughing or sneezing. No one must go into a food handling area if they are suffering from vomiting or diarrhoea. Your food business's FCP has the names of the people who decide on the following issues. The person that you must phone into before you come to work if you have vomited or had diarrhoea in the previous 24 hours. Note that if you have had diarrhoea two or more times or any vomiting within a 24 to 48 hour period, you must seek medical advice and have a specimen tested to identify the cause of your illness. The FCP also has the name of the person who requires you to keep away from work until you meet the appropriate clearance criteria. You can, however, ask if you may be given alternative work that does not involve food contact or food risk. The FCP includes guidance notes on work exclusion requirements. If in doubt, you can also get advice directly from your council's environmental health officer or contact the Ministry for Primary Industries. Check your food control plan for the name of the person you must immediately inform if anyone vomits at work and what subsequent action must be taken. The sick person will be excluded from any further food handling and most likely will be sent home until they get clearance. The affected area and all contaminated surfaces, including equipment and utensils, must be clean and sanitised and any food that may have become contaminated must be disposed of. In a food business, it's a good idea to keep a vomit kit handy which should have disposable, protective gear and appropriate clean-up and sanitising materials. If anyone is jaundiced, that's yellowing of the skin, they may have hepatitis, a serious infectious disease and must not be allowed in a food handling area. You also must not handle food if you have scaly, weeping or infected skin that cannot be totally covered. If you become aware that someone is or has been unwell and is not following your business's FCP procedures, advise your supervisor who will take appropriate action. If anyone's sick on the premises, clean and sanitise the area immediately and throw out any food that might have been contaminated and send the sick person home. Your FCP supervisor should write down in the staff sickness record when anyone who visits the premises were unwell and what action was taken. They should also write a diary note if something went wrong, for example someone becoming sick and vomiting on the premises. Ask if this is being done 